The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Ladies and gentlemen, viewers at home, my name is Jamie Ivey, in case you didn't notice. And I feel I got off on the wrong start a few weeks ago, so I just wanted to properly introduce myself and say, I'm running things around here now. So, but I don't ever want you to think that I'm just solely doing this for my own benefit, for my own giggles. I'm working for you, the viewers at home, trying to make the best show possible. So, I thought, why not kick this off with a, with a list of decrees that is gonna happen in the next few weeks Usually have my assistant do this, I'm not sure where he is, but took it upon myself because I'm a man of action. So, here's what's coming in the next few weeks. Jordan Clearwater and Jack Benning will face each other next week. And that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. Richie Slade will defend the Hollywood Heritage title against EJ Sparks also next week. But that's next week. Let's get to today, shall we? There will be a triple threat match between Heather Monroe versus Viva Van versus CC Chanel. And the special guest referee will be Myla Matters. She seems fairly smart. Let's see if she can follow some instructions. Why not, right? Anything could happen in championship wrestling. And as for right now, I'm gonna leave you with one more thing. The TV title is on the line right now. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. Championship action coming your way, and what an opportunity for Jack Cartwright. And boy, oh boy, did he ever earn it. Yeah, no doubt about it. Jack Cartwright out here to prove that lightning can indeed strike twice after that shocking quick victory over Levi Shapiro in tag team action. Caught him with the moonsault press and kept the television champ down for the one, two, three. Can he do it again when the title's on the line? And here's the champion. Got to have a little egg on his face after what happened in that tag team encounter, as we mentioned. It was a moonsault press by Cartwright and caught Shapiro sleeping. Yeah, Put look, him down for the three-second nap. Look at the expression on timeless Levi Shapiro. No nonsense. I, I think he feels a little bit embarrassed. I, I don't personally think that he should. Jack Cartwright is a great competitor. He got him. Was a big upset, and certainly Shapiro was very upset with the results. Title is on the line this time out and here to set the stage as only he can, Adnan Qureshi. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and it is for the United Television Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 185 pounds, Jack Cartwright. Let's go. And introducing his opponent, being accompanied to the ring by Howdy Price. From the last stop on the loop, weighing in at 215 and three quarters pounds, he is the United Television Champion, Timeless Levi Shapiro. Stage is set, United Television title on the line. And again, do you think that that little bit of uncertainty after being pinned by Cartwright creeps into the psyche of the timeless one who usually always plays the mind games himself. I mean, he is of sound mind, but I think absolutely anytime somebody beats you, there has to be, even if it's the slightest bit, a little bit of doubt can creep in. And I think that's maybe what has Levi so angry. He doesn't want to have that about anybody. Out quick in the champion thus far was Cartwright, but recipient of a clubbing shot. And these two have some history. You'll recall Cart history. Cartwright had a, a title shot in the past, was paid off to take a dive. Well, not really paid off because after he 
followed suit on that to get some money for his tuition. Howdy Price and Shapiro took the money back. Yeah, I mean, absolutely despicable. The offer itself, a Faustian bargain that then they just they pulled the rug out from underneath poor Jack. He was in a bad place. He took some money for college. Nobody could blame him for that. But now his earned this cover. The cover. After the big elbow and certainly size, strength, advantage. Advantage goes to uh, the champion, Levi Shapiro. But I mean, the sheer athleticism. Athleticism, and you can't count out the heart of Jack Cartwright. Yep, and he's, he's just got so much more confidence after being under the tutelage of the neon phenomenon. Anthony Idol, who came so close in a recent bid in his own right for the television title. Of course, some antics involving the chain there. Yeah, a no, fake out job. Yeah, no justice whatsoever. Levi Shapiro finding new ways to hold on to that championship cover. And play, the, playing around here a little bit is Levi Shapiro, and I think he's playing a, a dangerous game, maybe flirting with disaster, especially when you think of that recent loss, pinfall loss in tag team action to Cartwright. But, I mean, it has been physical and deliberate offense by the champ. Yeah, you, I mean, you play with fire with Jack Cartwright, Levi, you're going to get burned again. I'm actually surprised to see that he, that he would pull that move after, after what happened. Cartwright hasn't had a whole lot of opportunities to come out of the blocks offensively in this, but now starts to fight fire with fire, gets distance. That's his best friend in a match like this. Drop kick. He's got Levi in a bad position. He's so athletic. Now, see, there you see that little bit of change. Before, you would see all the flips, and you might see it here, but he made sure that he had, nope, just charges in again. So a little bit more of a measured challenger now in Cartwright. Yeah, a little bit more under control. I think you can see that impact of, you know, being around Anthony Idol coming into play here, but now Levi Shapiro looking to take control. What's he got in store? Ooh. Shoulder breaker to Jack Cartwright. Nasty shoulder breaker there, and you can see... The challenger nearly lifeless, and now right to the blatant choke. Well, we've seen this before. Hear him yelling at Jack Cartwright. He is in his head a little bit. Levi, that egg on his face, and he wants to avenge that. Shapiro was quick to say, you know, it was an upset. It was a fluke, and it's not going to happen again. Grind in the boot into the eyes. I mean, this is salt in the wounds. Wait, what happened? Uh -oh. It looked oh. like there might have been an exchange there between Howdy and Levi. We've seen that time and time oh, again. Oh, man. Tell no. you what, Cartwright, a running bow, he, he targeted it there. Boy, heads up move there by Cartwright. But, yes, there was certainly a handoff of some sort between Howdy and Levi Shapiro, but it might not come to fruition. And Cartwright's still having trouble seeing. He would have been to the top rope by now otherwise. Yeah, he took, the, took that boot right across the face. He's having trouble maintaining his vision, but had enough presence of mind. Here we go. What's he got in store? Oh, going Incredible. for that. Incredible. Slam stand into the elbow. Only a count of one, though. Just too much time wasted. Too much time wasted. Not able to get his full body weight down. He's still favoring his eyes there. He doesn't have his full vision, does Jack Cartwright. But he is going up top again, it looks like, to try and put away the TV championship. Oh, no, come on now. And, and look at this. Levi was barking about something, complaining to the official, maybe feigning an injury of some sort, and Howdy Price getting physically involved again. Paying dividends yet again for the timeless one is Howdy Price. Now a big superplex to Jack Cartwright. He got he looks all out. of that and then some and was able to put him away. Here is your winner and still United Television Champion, Levi Shapiro. Gutsy performance by Jack Cartwright, but not able to overcome the odds in the numbers game here. Yeah, the stacked deck of Levi Shapiro and his X Factor, Howdy Price, too much to overcome. Once again, Shapiro. Uh, you had Shapiro trying to send a message to Idol, but hey, why don't you send it to him face to face? Because Anthony Idol, Neon Phenomenon, has made his way out here now, but it might be too little, too late. Yeah, Levi heading for the hills, getting out of Dodge, doesn't want to mess with the Neon Phenomenon. Can your kitchen knife do this? How about this? Well, now it can. Born of the Forge with a heart of steel and fire is a once in a lifetime knife inspired by the hit TV show, Forged in Fire. So sharp and so strong, it will cut everything in your kitchen, frozen or fresh. 
forged in fires knives, surgical steel construction, and razor sharp edge literally shatters the competition. And that means no more bashing bread or terrorizing your turkey. Each knife is hammered right out of the forge and comes professionally sharpened so you can tear through your T-bone and even fillet your fish. Make salads speedy and simple, then finish with your fruits. Its professional ergonomic handle won't slip, even chopping this frozen solid block of ice, and that torture won't dull its precision sharpness. Amazing! Professional chefs know a sharper knife is a safer knife because you cut exactly where you need to. Your food, not your fingers. Let's watch that again. That's a sharp knife. It may be the last knife you'll ever buy. And we'll hand number each limited edition item to commemorate your purchase. Professional knives like this can cost over $300, but you won't pay that. Now you can get the 8 inch surgical stainless steel forged in fire chef's knife for the low, low price of only $29.95. And when you order now, you'll get the forged in fire paring knife absolutely free for razor sharp results with your fruits and vegetables. And that's not all. Order a second set of knives right now and we'll give you free shipping on the entire order. And all Forged and Fire Knives come with our 50-year guarantee. But you must order now. To order, call 1-800-667-0579 or go to buyforgedandfire.com. Don't wait. Call 1-800-667-0579 or go to buyforgedandfire.com. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 390 pounds, the team of Jordan Cruz and Keita Murray. We've seen some interesting teams here as of late in the tag team division. And a bit of a dichotomy here in uh, energy level and excitement. Demeanor. Demeanor, yep. A couple of up-and-comers, though. Oh, no doubt about it. And two fantastic athletes that, if they can gel in Jordan Cruz and Keita Murray, they could be one heck of a team. Jordan Cruz backing off, giving center stage to Keita Murray. Staring him down. I, well, Keita, very interesting. Keita, you know, means king, as he found looking through his genealogy and kind of carrying himself with that royal flair, if you will. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you... Guy Twinkasetti! Hey everybody! Ladies, ladies, ladies! And I guess guys in the back, listen up, cause I'm coming in hot like a double smokestack. Your party captain proudly presents a tag team of two of the most top-notch, high-octane, sweeter than butterscotch, don't know what time it is, you better get a watch. So don't be mad, don't be sour. The time is upon us. It is the hour. So get off your butts and get on your feet. Give it up for the Midnight Heat. How about that? The Midnight Heat. Midnight Heat. I, I, I heard rumors of maybe some, some changes once Tweeka said he got this gig, but. I, I guess tweaking their name. And maybe that's not all. Yeah, new look, uh -oh. looks like a new attitude. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to your friend and mine, Guy Tricazzetti. There you go, baby. They've really yeah. embraced this. We're coming in hot. Midnight heat under the, Whoa. the guidance of Gu Guy Tricazzetti. Oh, well, the party captain, and it looks like it's party time for the midnight heat. They've really reinvented themselves uh -huh. here. The hour has come, my friend. Midnight Heat. Strutting in the ring and just, look, look at all the confidence just dripping off these guys. They've, again, really embraced this Tweakasetti character that is now guiding them. I, I, I don't and, know that Jordan Cruz Showtime has got nothing on this. I don't think he knows what to make of Midnight Heat. Look at this. Yeah, he didn't Look at him go. They are, they are in sync already. Oh, I think that's it, yes. oh, here we go. Party captain going for a sail. And we are not at the Roxbury. We're at the Ocean View Pavilion. We got it. I mean, we got parties going on, but we got a tag team match to get to. We got a tag team match to get to. It looks like 
you know, Gibson and Pearl, and now with Tweak Assetti, absolutely on the same page, maybe more than ever. Midnight Heat. Oh, cheap shot by Pearl to Jordan Cruz. And it, you know, you could, Cruz just wants to get to business here. That's what he's all about. And then Keita Murray just stoically watching this all unfold. Extremely stoic. To your point there, you know, he was had his back turned to the antics. He had he's been carrying his hands behind his back. Just that and his attitude, silent insistence. Starting this match off now with Eddie Pearl. All right, so you know, obviously a shift in the name, a shift in the demeanor of now Midnight Heat. We'll see if there's any uh, shift in their in-ring expertise. Obviously, they've been a great tag team, but there was maybe that, that one missing piece of the puzzle because they had title opportunities but never claimed the gold. Is is the, the party captain going to sail them all the way to the promised land? Yeah, is, is he going to be that key to plunder for Midnight Heat? Tag is made, so the continuity is certainly still there. Yeah, as tight a team as there is. <laughs> I used to say no wasted motion with these guys. Now there's a little bit of extra motion in that ocean. Eddie Pearl working over Keita Murray. Solid shots here by Eddie Pearl. He's got Keita Murray in trouble early. Frequent tags, hallmark of midnight heat. Ricky Gibson and Eddie Pearl as Ricky Gibson hits that neck breaker on Keita. Double team in the name of the game for Midnight Heat. And uh, going for the cover there early. And there has been virtually no offense thus far for Keita Murray. And we know that, you know, he's got an extensive offensive playbook. We've seen it in the past. But, I mean, when it comes to tag team wrestling, very few do it any better than Midnight Heat. They are specialists at it, and they've been putting that on display thus far in this matchup. Eddie Pearl primping, preening, before landing another shot on Keita Murray. And we've seen another frequent tag, and just this seems like an overall kind of attitude adjustment for Midnight Heat here. Sure seems that way. An amplification almost. Yes. They've that, gone electric. Turning that, yeah, they've, they've, they've turned their dial up to 11. That, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, Ricky Gibson seems more infatuated with that beard than I can ever remember. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, I guess you get rid of some hair, you gotta go with whatever you got it's there. It's what he's got left. He, yeah. You know, as you see Eddie Pearl again, he's he's admiring what he the mop on his head. Ricky's gotta work with what he has, and he's working that boot to Keita's neck in the corner. They have isolated Keita Murray. Showtime Jordan Cruz has been a complete non-factor. I mean, thus far, it's basically been a two-on-one handicap match. Frequent tags for Midnight Heat, no tags for Keita Murray and Jordan Cruz, who Cruz almost tried to step in there and make, I mean, look at this guy, Tweekazetti. He is just frenetic energy. Yeah, I mean, this has just been a showcase for, for Midnight Heat thus far of how in sync and on the same page they really are thus far. Keita Murray needs to make a tag in the worst way. And you can see, you know, he's, he's using that power. He's trying to break this grip here, trying to get his arms closer together, alleviate some of the pressure, and he does. Able to break the lock there by Eddie Pearl and firing up with some shots as Keita Murray scores with a suplex, and this might be a big window of opportunity for this team. Tag is made. Well, I slapped to the chest. I mean, Jordan Cruz had the hand outstretched, could have made the traditional tag, but sort of a, a disrespectful move by Keita Murray. It's Cruz applying that headlock. I, you know, I think Keita kind of holds himself in, in such high regard now. He, he, I think he feels that he is somewhat of a king or a ruler, and he just, you know, he's got that elitist attitude all of a sudden. Yeah, we we're talking about sort of a, an attitude adjustment for Midnight Heat we've seen in Keita Murray as well in recent weeks. You've decided to go back to school. Good for you. So, which would you rather do? Get up early, get dressed, drive to college, find a parking spot, walk across campus, only to sit in a giant lecture hall, or earn your degree from home with Independence University. I have two small children, a 10-year-old and a 4-year-old, so the online format and the flexibility was a must. I could work at my own pace, and I was still able to take care of my kids while going to school. We'll even provide you with a new laptop and tablet to keep when you graduate, and a personal student success team. I have had such personalized attention, and it's an online degree. 
If I had a question on the coursework, I always got my answer within an hour or two. I will never be able to express what I owe this institution. Independence University, online, but never alone. Call 1-800-768-2670, 1-800-768-2670. Welcome back, everyone. Tag team action here. The newly minted Midnight Heat are in there with Showtime Jordan Cruz and Keita Murray. Finally, Cruz got that tag. He, quite the tag by Keita Murray. And so this team of Cruz and Murray have a bit of a new lease on life here in this matchup. Yeah, with, with Showtime Jordan Cruz in there again, a man who has never seized an opportunity that's come his way and just a tremendous athlete as he is displaying right now in that ring on Ricky Gibson of, as you said, the newly minted Midnight Heat. On the outside, looking for the timeout, getting fanned by the fur or faux fur here of Tweekazetti. And I think what we missed in the ring there was a, it was a tag that Jordan Cruz wasn't ready for. Keita Murray just slapping the back of Jordan Cruz, inserting himself back into this matchup. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're just not on the same page so far talking about Keita Murray and yeah. Jordan Cruz. I mean, and, uh, it's as diametrically opposed on, on one corner to the other in terms of the tag team continuity. No doubt about it. I mean, the sum of their parts certainly to the advantage of Midnight Heat, but now you see for the first time in this matchup, Keita Murray checks back in and now actually has something going offensively. Yeah, and he's gonna keep pressing forward, but as soon as I say that, Pearl able, able to slip out of there the door closes on Keita Murray. Keita Murray follows in, beautiful back elbow, drops Eddie Pearl. I, was a tag made there? Not sure. I don't think so. It was almost like intentful trying to back off Jordan Cruz, it looked like. Using his whole body to attack here is Keita Murray looking for the big victory. Could you imagine if Midnight Heat oh. lose? In, in their, their first official matchup under the guidance of the party captain? Be one of the worst brand relaunches in history. Well, that ship would hit a reef in a hurry. And now look at this, a little double teaming by Cruz and Keita Murray. So starting to galvanize a little bit. Yeah, I think they need to understand that they're in deep water with one of the best tag teams out there. Jordan Cruz, such an impressive athlete. We've seen him in some just barn burners matches as of late. I always keep going back to, to Jordan Cruz and the fact that he stepped up to Chris Dickinson at Primetime Live. I mean, he was the, the first one to do that. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah. And that was an unenviable task. No doubt about it, but he, he rebounded from that. He just keeps coming back for more. Because right now it's Keita Murray who's looking to take more, pun or give more punishment to Eddie Pearl. Yeah, Keita Murray wrestled on Primetime Live as well. Flying arm breaker there by Keita Murray. And uh, I guess you won't see any drum solos anymore from Eddie Pearl after that and continuing to work over the arm here. Guy Tweekasetti trying to direct traffic out there. Applying some illegal leverage. Sure is, is Gibson to the outside. The referee having no part of that. And now Eddie Pearl goes to the eyes, not detected by the official. So misdirection play here by Midnight Heat. And they've oh. got Keita Murray right back where they want him. Yeah, in the wrong corner is Keita Murray. Is now midnight heat. Look at Ricky Gibson with the choke and the elbows coming from Eddie Pearl. Keita Murray in a bad way. And we got to recount history here. Perhaps the only reason that midnight heat is under the tutelage, I guess if you can call it that, a guy Tweekazetti, is because <laughs> Tweekazetti had the presence of mind to pay off the bodega to do the dirty work. Yeah, and, and it pay, the payoff did pay off, and now they are under this guru of cool, Guy Tweekazetti. What a shot from Jordan Cruz, though, sending Eddie Pearl back into Keita. Collision there, and Eddie Pearl before that had gone to the eyes, so Keita, you know, couldn't even see what hit him there. Yeah, that's a momentum stopper for sure. Opportunity for Eddie Pearl, who's got a bad wing for sure after that shoulder breaker earlier. Can he make the tag? He does. In comes Ricky Gibson. And so close there was Keita Murray to make the tag. Can he get there now? Reaching for it, but Eddie Pearl there to again put on the brakes. Midnight Heat doing everything they can to try and keep Keita isolated. There's the tag to Jordan. And Jordan here, Jordan Cruz is fresh and coming in there, trying to divide and conquer, and that might be the key to success. Nullify the double teaming here by Midnight Heat. Look out, 
Little good for the two for one special, the big easy, and it takes down both members. Oh my goodness. Oh. This ship's going to capsize here. It's going to capsize in a hurry. Cruz is poised for victory, the scoop and the slam, and there's nothing Tweak as any can do about it. A couple of big time BOGOs, courtesy of Showtime Jordan Cruz. Oh, and here's Tweak as any, though, getting up on the apron. Keita Murray was on the top rope. Oh, Cruz, no. inadvertent, inadvertent. Jordan Cruz laid out his own partner on the top rope. It was, but devastating nonetheless. Look out here, setting him up. The Manhattan drop, serving him up on a platter. Oh, mercy! Four minutes to midnight, you might say. Into the cover, and they pick up the win. Here are your winners, Midnight Heat. Let's take a look back at the action. A lot of moving parts in this one brought to you by UnitedWrestlingShop.com. Get your official gear. And James, you said it inadvertent, but Keita Murray pays the price, and that opened the window that Midnight Heat needed. Yeah, no living after midnight after that big time maneuver. Midnight Heat, victorious. <laughs> living after midnight, I got a feeling these guys are gonna be rocking till the dawn. Well, they certainly look like it in the ring. Again, this amplified attitude, courtesy of Guy Tweekazetti on the winning track. Midnight Heat feeling themselves. The party hasn't diminished one iota, and I think it's going to be going all night long. Well past midnight. We'll be back. Ray Rosas, you don't have the Arizona State Championship belt with you today. Dan Joseph, a few weeks ago, threw it into the flames. We're all heartbroken about it. How are you feeling about it? Well, actions tend to speak louder than words. We all know that. And Dan Joseph, I can hear what you're telling me. I hear what you're saying. See, Dan Joseph is doing everything within his power to- Ray, 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 Ray. Look, I apologize. Two weeks ago, I said, I'm sorry, a man-to-man -man feud, face-to-face -face, right now. I'll say it again. I, I took your belt, and I had a moment, and it happens. You, I'm, yeah. You had, you had a moment? A little bit. You had a moment? Well, we're going to have ourselves another moment, Dan, yeah. okay? Because not only did you set my belt on fire, you lit a fire in Ray Rosas. So if you want to apologize, you want to make it right, yeah. then you're going to see me in that ring. All right? Ooh. Ooh. Are you or someone you know suffering from drugs or alcohol and need help? With private insurance, treatment may be available at little or no cost. By calling us with the patient's private insurance card, we will explain all treatment options. Admissions counselors are standing by. All calls are confidential. This is a free service. Take the first step. Let us help you today. Call 1-800-943-5966. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Darwin Fitch and Gentleman Jervis, The Friendship Bar. Well, we saw a return to form for Gentleman Jervis, an in-ring action. He got that razzmatazz back, but not looking so sure of this is Darwin Finch here. You know, we saw a return to form for Jervis, but are we gonna see a return of the Friendship Farm as they have asked Sweet Robin to meet him here in the ring on Championship Wrestling? And you know, TK, I'm an eternal optimist. Friends fight, that happens. But after what Robin Shaw has done, it's hard to believe that 
friendship farm is going to be able to make itself whole again. Reigns to be seen. Certainly uh, a bit of uneasiness here in both Finch and, and Gentleman Jervis, for that matter. A lot riding on this. Good evening, everyone. I'm the world's sweetest man, Gentleman Jervis. And last week, I asked my partner, our friend, Sweet Robin Shaw, to come to the ring to talk out our differences and to make up with us, with me, and to be our friend. So Sweet Robin Shaw, I will waste no time. Please, come to the ring and join us. Begs the question, if, if Shaw's even gonna show up here, Music. Well, there you have it. Sweet Robin answering the call. Again, that new look, new attitude. I guess that is step one, though. He's here. He's going to talk it out. Well, we, we saw him, in essence, just decimate Finch in in-ring action. Finally find out what's been on his mind, hopefully. Certainly he's had a, a huge chip on his shoulder. Now, sweet Robin, I know you're upset. The way that well, things have gone down between us, it's not the way I would have liked. And I know there's a lot of anger in you. There's a lot of rage in there. You channel that rage, and if you put it in a positive direction, you could be one of the best of all time. But sweet Robin, you're letting your temper get the better of you. I know things haven't been easy. We haven't won many matches, but we tried. We tried our hardest. And trying counts for something, right, Darwin? Yes, yes, now, I'm sorry that maybe I haven't been in Exemplary tag team partner, but sweet Robin, you're irreplaceable. You're special. You're one of a kind. You're one of us. One of you. You're right, I am irreplaceable. Because quite frankly, you replaced me with him. You tried to replace Super Beetle with me, and then when Beetle left, I, I was stuck with you again. Beetle was better than you. I'm better than you. I am not replaceable, Jervis. I am sweet Robin Shaw, and I am everything that you're not. You think you're the world's sweetest man. I am the world's sweetest man. Sweet Robin, if you are as sweet as you say, please shake my hand, be my friend again. No. Oh, no. Oh. Come on. Huh, just, not again. I understand. You know, if you want to go your separate ways, there's a, there's a way to do it. Now just smashing Finch, smashing Gentleman Jervis. Squashing what is left of the Friendship Farm. Robin Shaw, nothing sweet about that. Shaw now here, having his way. Say, you're the, you say there's the sweetest man, I'm the sweetest man. I'm better than you. And now, no, he called for it there, James. Calling, calling for the sweet victory, and there oh, it is. God, connecting right on that skull. Sweet victory, more like bitter betrayal, if you ask me. You're right about that, TK, and just look at him. What's going on with Robin? I think I think Robin now sees sees what he's done here. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, Jervis was a huge boost for his career. He might have seriously injured him here. I, I think maybe it, it's almost Jervis. like he snapped snapped out of it. Yeah, Jervis hasn't moved. I, I think maybe, maybe the, the Robin Shaw that we knew and loved is is back here trying to help Jervis to his feet. You know, and friends fight. You know, one with that, they need each other. The, the friendship farm. They they, they really do. Maybe maybe this has gotten him back. 
saying he's sorry. I mean, maybe seeing the error of his ways here. No, 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 no. He's got him by the neck again. Now sending Jervis to the Come outside. On. Just sucker. You know, he's the, he's the world's sweetest man. We, he, he deserves better than that. You don't sucker him like that. Robin Unbelievable. Sh Robin Shaw, just oh, no. a con artist. What's he got in store here? Look Stand at the demented eyes of Shaw. He got what he wants. He's standing over a fallen gentleman, Jervis. Okay, yeah, sure. You're, you're the better man. Fine. What? What does he have? It's, it's Robin Shaw maybe with some no, demented no, no, intentions. No. What, what the hell is he going to do here? Don't do it. No. Completely squashed Jervis. God. To th the dreams of reconciliation and Jervis's chest crushed. The history between these two and now Jervis just might be written off his history. My God. Why? He's, 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 not, get him, he's not moving, James. He's not moving at all. Completely. Lifeless out there. And you said it. Demented Robin Shaw. Look at his face. We need some help for Jervis. God, God. I mean, seriously, get some help out. Somebody's got to call the ambulance. This is serious. Jervis not moving. What's up, y'all? It's Ice T. Now, you never know what's going to go wrong with your car. It could be a transmission, it could be the time and chain or that check engine light. Now, can I tell the future? Absolutely not. But I do know it's not a matter of if your car will break down. But when? And before that happens, you should call my friends at Car Shield. Their administrators pay for expensive car repairs so you don't have to. And that's the truth. Car Shield is America's number one auto protection company. Their administrators have paid out over a billion dollars in claims and cover most vehicles from 5,000 to 150,000 miles. If it wasn't for Car Shield, I would have paid a lot of money out of pocket and I would have been too happy. When I bought my used car, I didn't expect any problems right away. But when it broke down, I'm glad I had Car Shield. Another truth, I drive with Car Shield. Just like you, it goes against my principles to throw money away. I wasn't always famous, and who doesn't love saving money on expensive car repairs? Car Shield is like a guard dog protecting my wallet, which gives me real peace of mind when I drive. And you can take that to the bank. With coverage through CarShield's administrators, you'll receive 24-7 roadside assistance, courtesy towing, rental reimbursement at no additional charge. Plus, with CarShield's nationwide coverage network, you can choose the mechanic or dealership of your choice no matter where you are. So in one year, I saved $2,500. That's amazing. I don't worry about car breakdowns because I have CarShield. Some of y'all sitting at home might end up just like me, walking. Especially if you get hit with a huge car repair bill you can't afford. Or... You could call my friends at CarShield and see that saving money on expensive car repairs is really a smart move. Protect yourself now against expensive auto repair bills. Call CarShield for a free and instant protection plan quote. Once your car breaks down, it's too late. Call 800-319-4849. That's 800-319-4849. Has your AC busted, computer crashed, appliance broken? Then you need ARW, American Residential Warranty. Hi, it's me, Anthony Sullivan. And yes, you've actually caught me at home relaxing because life's been pretty worry-free since I got coverage with American Residential Warranty. Home appliance repairs and replacement can cause stress and cost you over $3,000 per year. But ARW has home warranty plans starting at less than a dollar a day. My air conditioning broke on a Sunday. It was so hot, I called ARW and they came out and fixed it right away. You won't believe what ARW covers. Heating and air conditioning, washers and dryers, kitchen appliances, plumbing, water heaters, electrical systems, flat screens and laptops even pools and spas, and so much more. All plans are fully customizable and come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call now and get a home security system free with any plan. Call American Residential Warranty. They'll get you covered. Call to find out which home warranty plan is right for you. The following contest is a triple threat match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being come to the ring by Jamie Iovine, from Brisbane, Australia, CC Chanel. Not often the official of the match it comes out with some of the competitors. Yeah, there's so, a there's a phrase for that. The fix is in. Exactly. I would have to agree with you. Here we see CC Chanel, who begrudgingly has had to go along with the terms of her contract even though it might be contradictory at times to her overall success. I'm actually surprised every time she is allowed to wrestle. 
Yeah, and allowed to wrestle. I mean, even just that phrase, like, how ridiculous is that? And Jamie Ivey spends the better part of his time just berating her when she is in that ring. Introducing her opponent from Los Angeles, California, Viva Van. Mm. Viva Van making her way out here. She's got that paperwork in hand. It just begs the question. Sign? Yeah, I don't know. She flashed it at Jamie Iovine. I don't know. I, I got to believe that uh, it would be a little bit more definitive if she had. Maybe still mulling it over. Maybe th what happens here, maybe maybe that will be what the determining factor for her is. I still find it hard to believe she'd even consider it. You recall last time out in action, Iovine grabbing her ankle during the match, saying, this is the type of stuff you're going to put up with if you don't sign. I'm going to be there to haunt your every move. I mean, but look at, it's haunting your every move. He's haunting CeCe Chanel, and she did sign. And introducing their opponent, being coming to the ring by Halston Body. She is the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe. So we often talk about the BOGO, the uh, buy one, get one, and, and Heather Monroe basically gets that here because Heather Monroe had said after that match that she had with Viva Van was stopped short by Jamie Iovine. She had requested again, I want this match with Viva Van, but now a chance to exact some revenge on Chanel as well. Yeah, you're right. The BOGO chance to finish some business on two fronts. Heather Monroe still looking to convince Viva Van that this is, yeah, to rip up that contract, she says. Not worth it. And I, I agree with Heather Monroe. The Killer Bay and the lethal accessory Halston body have been just fighting on behalf of the good of this women's division. Triple threat match. First pinfall or submission will decide the victor. And you saw that Heather Monroe again admonishing Viva Van, pleading with her not to sign. And uh, here we go, taking aim right off the bat at Chanel. You'll recall CC Chanel and, and, and Heather Monroe saying, I wanted you. I wanted you. I want that match. And now she's got it. Made Chanel a non factor, at least for now. Yeah, for the moment, this becomes a de facto one on one match. The unfinished business of. Viva Van and Heather Monroe. You see that Lucha background of Van at the start. Yeah, well documented. We've talked about it. Viva Van's looked fantastic since returning. You know, except for uh, when Iovine would get in the way. Yeah, again, what is the, the power structure? And there you see CeCe Chanel on the outside now giving it back to Heather Monroe. Oh, sending her head first into the post. And Milo Matters, the official, doing absolutely nothing about it. But again, in this type of matchup, you know, there is going to be some leniency with the rules because you can only win by pinfall or, or submission. Head scissors takedown now by Chanel, showing what she can do. Halston body fanning Heather Monroe on the outside, and the Killer Bay gets back into the fray. And a whole lot of history, two arch rivals, former friends, Going at it. Going at it, yeah, Heather Monroe. I'm just very curious to see how the officiating of Milo Matters is going to play a role in this. It's just very suspect, her sort of being the official in this match and coming out with Jamie Iovine. Yeah, well, it's been almost non-existent and she's letting these ladies fight. And you know, I'm okay with that, with all of these combustible issues that are going on. Van now in there, really hammering the Keller Bay and I think, you know, a very competitive rivalry between these two. Yeah, and well-documented history between the two of them and reigniting since she's returned. But at least there's some respect in the rivalry between these two. It's not the bad blood uh, that you have with Chanel. At, at least not from Heather's perspective, but Viva has seemed sort of slow to forgive the past so far. And understandable. Said it took two years to get an apology from the Killer Bay. Took her a while to change, and... And now uh, exacting some revenge if uh, she still has a grudge. Here this chin lock really making Heather Monroe pay the price. Yeah, and if she's able to, to pick up the victory here and, and, and beat Heather Monroe and CC Chanel, you got to believe that Viva Van would be right at the top or right near the top of this women's division. You got to wonder, you know, what Milo, what's going through the head of the official Milo Matters is Viva Van defeated her weeks ago, got a victory over and Getting a good look. Scouting session, perhaps. Yeah. And uh, Chanel now makes her way back in there. 
Again, it's a triple threat match. First pinfall or submission going to decide the winner. And, you know, all orchestrating all of this is, is Jamie Iovine. Yeah, anything can happen. It usually does in these types of matchups. This unpredictable action will continue right after this. Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? Then let BCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Our residential bathroom solutions provide the best value on the market, and our customer service is second to none. Our cost-effective BCI Bath & Shower family of products has what you need. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. And it was a great experience the whole way through. We have the best monthly payment programs in the industry, with payments as low as $68 per month, or no interest, no payments for 18 months. For a limited time, be one of the first 100 callers who schedule a free in-home consultation and receive $500 off. 1-800-913-0649. That's 1-800-913-0649. Factory trained and certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. BCI Bath & Shower, the leader in affordable bathroom products. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a continuous glucose monitor or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now. Welcome back. Oh, stealing a page out of the playbook of the Killer Bay. This looks an awful like, a lot like the seven year stretch. Oh, <laughs> could you imagine if Viva Van made Heather Monroe tap out to this? Oh, how sweet that would be for Viva Van, but Heather Monroe, you got to know that she uh, has seen just about every potential counter for that and yeah, using it over the years. Learned from it, able to escape the whole Viva Van with disdain written all over her face for Heather Monroe. Heather Monroe, though, firing shots back. Maybe it's Heather Monroe that's hell-bent and not the hell-bent vixen. Heather Monroe's been hell-bent on getting a women's title. She's really been a, a champion for the women's division. Absolutely right, and that's why I think when she said that she's changed, I, I believe her. And that contract, oh, oh what a senton on Chanel, who, be, who turned from friend to enemy due to that contract originally penned by Nico Marquez, now being enforced by Jamie Ivey. What a kick from Viva Van, taking Heather Monroe out of the equation for the moment. Cece Chanel, the only one on her feet. And Chanel, every time she gets an opportunity, which is, you know, few and far between, to actually show what she can do in the ring, you know that she's going to be extremely aggressive and looking to impress. Oh, she's got Viva Van and Heather Monroe. She's taking care of both of them right now. Impressive from Chanel. Even, even Jamie Iovine's got to like that. Talks about going oh. from sweet to psycho, but has to uh, eat defeat, so to speak. And both... Viva Van and the Killer Bay go down in a heap. Both think of the same thing there. Scoring with the clothesline. And we'll see who can capitalize first. Whoever gets back to a vertical base. This might be a huge turning point in the matchup. Yeah, all three women are down. Milo Matters utilizing her count. Iovine trying to will, well, I don't know, will CC Chanel, but screaming at her. And likewise, Halston Body trying to fan and get some life back in the Killer Bay. Come on, come on. Viva Van, the only one out there that doesn't have some form of representation, although Jamie Iovine would like to change that. That's, that's true. That is, that's still very much uh, pending. And if she thinks it can uh, maybe aid her in winning this, this high-stakes oh. matchup, you know, maybe she'll decide to sign. We'll see. Fighting wow. from the ground up, these three ladies just trading shots back and forth. Vicious shots, and man, how about these forearms? I'm telling you, Chanel is hitting with bad, bad intentions and a lot of pent-up frustration. Now the cutter by Chanel. And oh man, caught her double knees there by Viva Van. Can Viva capitalize? I think rightly going after Heather. Heather took a really brutal shot there. Iovine beside himself, looking on. Van scored with the code breaker. I don't know if she'll be able to break the code that what is whatever oh. that contract is. Snap, dragon suplex there by Heather Monroe looking to pick up the victory. Close call, not yet. Viva Van able to just get the shoulder up, but Heather Monroe 
just a split second away from victory in this big time triple threat match. And again, when it's first fall to the finish here, you really have to have both of your opponents in a compromising position or somebody else is gonna come in and make the save. You gotta have eyes in the back of your head. You have to have that sense of urgency, really capitalize on any opening that you can find in a match like this. And there you, you have to have head on the swivel. What is Iavine doing? What was that? Iavine pulling Chanel, his, his client, has her under contract. And now, oh no! Austin! Oh, collision, malfunction at the junction maybe. What? Was that intentional? Well, it sure what as hell is. What body doing? It sure as hell was. Why? Why, Alston? Think, think of the history here and now. Picking up the pieces like a vulture here is FIBA fan. You're going to call that a win? What was that? Here is your winner, FIBA fan. What, what have we witnessed here? What? what? What just happened? Well, let's let's take a look back at the action. I mean, and, and we look back, brought to you by UnitedWrestlingShop.com. But here you see Iovine pulls Chanel down off the apron. That opens the door for Halston Body with that belly pop. And then he aids, he aids Viva Van into that finishing sequence. We, we said the fix might be in, but we, we didn't think it was going to be like this. Halston Body betraying him. Oh, but, oh my God. Viva Van using the steel chair with reckless abandon on Heather Monroe. Somebody's gotta stop this. The hell-bent vixen, I guess, aptly named. Hit in the back with that chair after Halston Body stabbed, stabbed Heather in the back. A dagger from the lethal accessory, as I like to call him, but an accessory to an absolute crime in that oh, ring. Oh, this is disgusting. No, no, no. This is, stop this. Oh. oh. She's breaking Heather in half here. Heather Monroe is defenseless. Oh my God. There, my darling. Oh, that he... contract. Pop quiz, Heather Monroe. Who brought Halston Body to championship wrestling from Hollywood? Jamie Iovine. Who put me in charge of you winning the gold? Jamie Iovine. And who have I been working with since day one? Jamie Ivy. Halston Body, you performed phenomenally. Performance of a century. You've earned it, my friend. You're finally getting what you came here for. I am opening the body shop. And your first client, Viva. Bam. Unbelievable. Disgusting. Boy, I mean, years in the making here. The v Viva Van, the, the first me member signed to the body shop. A Halston body and, and Jamie Ivey with the, this long con and just look at, yeah. just kicking dirt long, long, on Heather Monroe. Long con is right. And I mean, unbelievable. Think of the history. Think of the history between body and and Heather Monroe, and if I can steal a phrase from Halston Body, hey, Body, how dare you?